all heard of Perplexity, the AI-powered search engine that is an AI chatbot-powered research and conversational search engine. It can answer queries using natural language, predictive text, and many of us even prefer it over Google because of the results that you get. However, one thing it lacks is the ability to provide personalized results and respond in a particular manner. The ability to have a model provide personalized results can be something that many of us usually prefer when generating with any sort of model because of how convenient and how personalized it is in terms of the generation. Well, I got a solution for that and that is where I would like to introduce OpenSearch GPT. An open source AI search engine, but it's personalized for you. It learns about you as you ask it more questions and it's basically something that you can teach who you are and how it can basically respond in a certain type of manner. It's quite fast and it's practically better in many ways in comparison to perplexity. This is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into it as we showcase what is the capability of open search GPT. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below. I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants, and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. Open Search GPT is a personalized AI search engine that is completely open source. The great thing about this is that it's going to be able to output personalized answers and it's going to learn about you and your interests as you browse the web. Meaning that every time you send in queries, it's going to be able to have a memory chat cache which is going to be able to reference for future generation. As in, it will be able to learn from your previous generations to provide better results for you in a personalized manner. Now, you may be wondering, how can you get started? Well, this is something that you can access right away. You're going to need to sign in with a Google account. It's built with supermemory.ai, which is called Embed Chain. Now, I've made a video on this long time ago, but it, they basically rebranded to Mem0. It's an automatic memory collection and retrieval system. It's a tool that's going to be designed to automatically collect and retrieve memory. It helps in managing and organizing information by capturing it in real time and it's going to make it super easily accessible whenever you need it. The creator behind OpenSearch GPT had even stated that Mem0 is incredible with memory layers as he doesn't even need to have a database that manages all of it. It utilizes Versal AI ADK, which is a framework for building the AI application itself. It utilizes Next.js for the React framework. It has Tailwind CSS for a utility first CSS framework that will allow developers to build custom designs quite quickly. It is utilizing Shad CN UI, and this is for a set of completely unstyled, fully accessible UI components. And it's basically designed so that it can work with fully accessible UI components that are designed to work seamlessly. And these components provide necessary structure and functionality. You have code that is globe animation. You have the GPT-4 Omni Mini model being utilized. It is also utilizing Cloudflare Pages, which is a platform for building and deploying web applications. These are the things that power OpenSearch GPT to be functional and operational. So now that I have signed up with OpenSearch GPT and connected my Google account, you're going to be able to access OpenSearch GPT. So in this case, let's just start off by asking what is the world of AI YouTube channel? And we're going to send this in. And within a couple of seconds, we will get a good analysis of what my channel is about. And you can see it's like channels like AI Explain, Matt Wolfie, as well as Lex Friedman, which I don't think is quite accurate. But I guess since he does do podcasts on it, it is relevant. But it's similar to how you would get the same sort of answer as you would with perplexity, meaning that you would get all the sources and you'll basically get links as to where these channels are. 
So for example, if I am to search this within perplexity, it's going to be able to provide the sources in the same type of manner. And it's also going to be able to get that answer. Now, it is not as refined and good looking as perplexity. Definitely. I definitely prefer perplexity in that type of way. But you can see that as you continue to get more answers, it's going to be saving these memories. So as you type in stuff within open search gpt it's going to be able to provide more personalized answers based off the things that you're looking for one thing i want to note is that it does list out all those sources but one thing that it is restricted from is generating within the same uh, search basically meaning that if i searched what is ai i won't be able to continue my search even further i would have to go all the way back to the home page which is kind of restrictive in answering questions based off of that one particular query whereas in uh, perplexity for example i can keep searching i can then paste in the related queries that it is basically telling me to put in and i can just keep on typing and getting more generations out of it within that same tab now guys this is something that was actually developed by the super memory team and they had it so that super memory is in some way integrated with open search meaning that it is going to incorporate all the features of open search or sorry super memory into open search so you can see that there's various things such as having the ability to remember almost everything super memory is something that is going to be able to be like a second brain meaning that it's going to be able to perform and remember anything that you utilize within the platform it's going to be able to provide personalized and reasonable answers based off the things that you prompt in and this is what's going to be available throughout open search gpt in simple terms it's an ultimate hub for organizing searching and utilizing saved information it is quite powerful and it could be used as a search engine writing assistant and it can basically help even create canvases which can make it easier for you to manage and leverage your data effectively and this is where it's going to be integrating its capabilities within open search gpt meaning that you're going to be able to access all of this in terms of managing your data as well as leveraging it quite effectively to showcase the personalized search gpt feature within this I basically was searching around different AI channels about my channels particularly and I was able to get an answer that was quite personalized meaning that I asked it give me some helpful AI YouTube channels and it was able to list out world of AI which is great to see and this is something that it basically listed because of the in inbuilt memory as to what I was talking about of world of AI it realized that it was a quite good YouTube channel it was able to showcase that it also learned that it makes videos on different AI topics and tutorials on it and as I was generating more content about other AI YouTube channels it even listed out mine because of the memory it had basically built in of that channel previously and previous generations but that's basically it for today's video on open search GPT this is something that is quite promising and it looks like it will somewhat be a competitor to perplexity it's something that i definitely recommend that you try out because of the personalized answers that you can get with open search gpt it's something that you can't really explain until you try it out so definitely check this out with the link in the description below this is something that you can access completely for free make sure you follow me on the patreon so that you can access different ai subscriptions on a monthly basis Make sure you follow me on World of AI, a great way for you to access different sorts of AI news and content right to you on a daily basis completely for free. And lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.